What's going on, everybody? How you doing? I'm Susu, for those of you that don't know. And just chilling in the studio, I was making a beat. I mean, really, I came here to make beats. And then I just decided, I don't know, that I would look at some of this shit with you. But before we do that, maybe we should show you, just so you guys know I'm not just some bum. I actually know how to make some pretty badass beats. This is one I just made. Got some bass in that bitch, of course. Took some samples. I like to come in here and just bang out. That's what I do. I make just beat after beat after beat, and then you sell them. I mean, you can sell them for money, obviously. So I'm just going to look through this for a minute. Because I know that comes out a bit dirty for you guys, but I mean, you get the gist of it. I was working with that Ozo 9, which is like a little mastering. What is this little swoop here? Mm. All right, so let me show you some things that I ran into today. One of them, and the way we do this is we just go right here. If we go right here, then you can go to triggered and you can actually see the stuff that was triggered for me. Okay, I had the trigger yesterday um, and the trigger for semi, which was yesterday at, um, I mean, you can see right here above rat. So if I go through these, you can just kind of see everything that I've been buying and selling stuff at. So see how Sorrento at or at below or at 179 back on April 1st. I mean, you guys see where that, you know, what happened there. And then I had it tell me when it was at or above 230, which shows on the third. Um, that means that get it there, watch it there. Um, as you guys can see, you can see right here, like when it, when it warns me when it's at or above, that is the warning that it may be time to start looking at it to sell, th sell things. Okay. And then like right here, forgive me, right above it, you'd see yesterday at one thirty, my alert went off for semi S uh, C E M I. And that was to tell me that it was, um, above or at five ninety six. but actually the first one was below or at 590 so right here this is the to let me know when it buys when to buy and as you can see it's up to seven dollars now we actually went to 725 today now let's look at real quickly why did i do that why would i just make up this number because keep in mind these things go off then but they're originally set days in advance days in advance matter of fact we can open that up and go look at the quote details now, why would I have set that up? And the, it's clear right there. Now, this morning, I could have got tricked out of it, but there was no reason to. But look right there. Because I knew the gap had to close. But if you're looking at the one-month chart, which I'm looking at right here, you can see because it's on the one-month right there. Now, of course, some of you guys are like, well, why the hell didn't you alert? Because unlike you or just like you, I'm teaching four kids school and I'm just busy as shit at home trying to figure stuff out. You know, like, I, you know, I, the unemployment crisis is a disaster in Florida and everywhere else. So it's just, it's a nightmare. So, you know, it is what it is. So you get busy, but as you can see right here, you have this gap. Gaps love to be filled. Gaps, usually if it's two gaps in a row, that bitch is going to get filled every now and then you get a ridiculous squeeze where it's up, up, up. But for the most part, if it's not even that high a volume, then you're going to see that gap get filled at some point. I mean, it's just natural. It happens all the time within the stock market. We know that gaps get filled. So you always should be looking for gaps. And then around those gaps, look for anything that would give you the advantage to know if the bounce is coming. In this case, Look what's coming up right below it, right there. You got the EMA lines, the ones I've been telling you guys about in all of my videos. And in addition to that, look at how it got that, that swoop in it. See that swoop? See how that started to form that swoop? Once it forms that, you know you're gonna have some strength so long as that holds. And just, I mean, you know, one of those things is you gotta be willing to take a th two to 3% loss before you just jump off something. So you kinda have to eat it if it drops below that a little bit, which it might. But you got to eat it. But the point there is definitely to look at it that way. Look at the five day. See the five day, how it looked? So you had, oh, forgive me, you can look at the five day or you can look at the one day. And there's the five day breaking out right there where it fell out yesterday. 
and then today fell out of the Bollinger Band. So you don't have any falls out. You have touches to it, and then it bounces off almost like every touch on the five day. But on the one day, look right there. So it was like a three prong strike. You got this right here, right here. You have that on the one day chart. That's the one day intraday right there. See, one day intraday fell out of the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. You have on the one month, the gap getting filled right there. The gap being filled when it fell down to there. So the gap gets filled because the gap goes to right there. Okay. That's your gap being filled right there. And you see it drew one across that. And then in addition to that, the touch to the 10 day, the, the blue line, the 10 day EMA line right there, that, ten, that blue one. You have the touch to it right there. Okay. And that's how you get something like that in play. So there's that. And then the Sorrento one, um, well, actually right here, you can look at right here, United Healthcare. Why did I have it at, above or at? That's because you could play puts. That means you bet against it when it touches 262. And as you can see, that's a fantastic, absolutely fantastic play. If that's what the intentions were, that the play was perfect because look at United Healthcare. It's down like, what? Almost $20, down $15 since then. $15, so you're looking at, uh, you know, return of like 290%. And let's let's see why I picked that. Because if you look at the six month chart, what do you have? You have a reversion back to the, right there, see that line right there, that, that red line, that right there is your uh, 20 day EMA or your middle Bollinger Band, that red line that goes through there, that's, also right here look at that boom and then you have the touch to the 20 in addition to that if you drop down like this this is i'm showing you guys basically what we call three prong strikes you have four prong strikes look right here straighten those out look what you got there boom one two three i mean it almost looks fake, right? When when you're looking at that, you're like, dude, is this guy fucking serious? Like, this is the magic or some shit? No, like, it literally works that good. It, the problem is you get killed like I do sometimes. Like, I, I kill absolutely 80% on my options play. Lost 80%. So I have this little account that's for, like, gambling purposes only. Pretty much I'll take, like... I'll take like 40, 50, 60 bucks, sometimes as low as like 25 bucks and I'll turn it into like a few hundred, then I'll blow it, right? It's just what I do. It's, it, it is say shit. Some people gamble. Some people go to the casino. This is how I gamble. Like I do like gambling. I am a gambling man in a sense. And so what I'll do is, and I know some people are like, well, why when you get to that do you spend it? Because I'm a gambling man and I've lost, like, you know, I've done this and grown accounts to 2,000 and literally lost 90% the next day. And there's been times when I've done it and grew it to 2000 and went on splurging vacations for like a three day vacation through four states over. Like, it's just what I do. It's, it's my personal shit. It's what I do. I don't care. Anyone can hate on it. I'm just not the kind of guy that's in the mood for doing anything, but that is what it is. So what happens is uh, yesterday, I'm going to show you this because I want to, by the way, you can see how absolutely stunning that play was one last thing that was in there. If you didn't see it, so I remember I laid down three for you. I laid down the the trend line up the trend line down okay i showed you those things trend line up trend line down and then in addition to that um the the touch to the red you know the red uh ema the middle bollinger band which is that line that goes across there but look this is one of the things that's crazy is that on the spy so i lose it I, I i bet against apple and i miss something here i'll show you what i missed i'll show you right now it pissed me off so fucking bad trust me i have never gotten this mad at myself only because i was like you fucking idiot it was so obvious like mind-blowingly obvious if i just did the extra search so what happens is lately i've been skipping on accident not on purpose i've been skipping over the one month chart I've been looking at intraday, five day, and six month. My one and three month are the same chart. They have the same settings. So pretty much you're looking at the same thing. One's just longer term. And look what I missed. So I went here and saw that it had touched, reverted back to that right there. And yesterday I was like, sell it there, which it was at 255. So had you done it, yeah, you would have missed the run to like 272. So yeah, you probably would have been mad at me, but it was like 256. Believe it or not, when I first played the puts on that and said that, I was up at like 29% in about 20 minutes. Yes, 29%. I caught it 
but I was out of day trades because I only, if you don't have 25,000 or more in your Robinhood account, you can't day trade. So you get three day trades per week. And I've already used them up because I grew the account from like $40 to like $450 over the last like month or two. And so what happened was I took all the money and bet against it right when it touched this one right here, right when it touched this range here, like in between the, the five EMA, which is that maroon line and the green line which ended up being a really bad move because as you see, it went up like another $13 from there, which absolutely slaughtered into the end of the day. I didn't sell because had I done it, it would have locked my account for 90 days. Then I can't gamble for 90 days and I have a problem with that. So what ended up happening was I said, you know what? I'm going to look and see what I did wrong and taught myself something. When you actually open up Apple and you take a look at the one month, look what was sitting there staring me directly in front of the... F oh, God, I was so mad. I was so mad. So mad. The only reason why, because it would have been like uh, if I had just went patient, it was a 500% return from where I would have played the puts at. Because the puts went for like 20 cents this morning and they went all the way back up to like 150, 140 or something like that. Right? So from $22 to 150, I would have got them like 25, 26 bucks. Because I was already a buyer at that point. Like when I saw them there, I was like, for sure, buyer. Look at this line right here. So when you actually pull this out, look at this line right here. Run it directly across the top here, and you don't get much, right? But when you actually go right here to this one right here, and you lay it across, where's it at? Here it is, right here, right here. There you go. You want to get under this green one right here and lay it right across the top of these because look at how perfect that is. Right on those. And that builds you the best. Look at that line right there. Then when you actually take that, the reason why, because if you actually look at that, you can kind of see how right it was because look what comes underneath it and it kind of builds that what we like to call like a rising. It's like almost a rising wedge. Not quite. It's not quite a rising wedge, but it's, it's you know, it's, it's definitely a sloping upwards. And look at that look at that beautiful and i was like what the fuck did i miss that for look at how obvious that was in addition look where that took you so there's your one month by the way i figured this out much earlier in the day and you could see because look let's go back and look and i'm going to save this so you can save the photos but go back to these other photos and take a look watch what happens so if you go here and you go to my photos right in here Look, you can see me figuring it out earlier today. Like I totally started to figure the whole damn thing out and that's why I was so mad at myself. Right. Which one is this? This is Facebook. Oh, there's Apple right there. Oh no, that's still Facebook. That's me showing that it was about to go up. There's Apple right there. Apple, look at that. I figured it out and I was like, mother, do you see what time it is? Look what time it is, 10, 18 a.m. So as soon as I lost, I'm like, what did I do wrong? And I was like, that's what you did wrong, you fucking dummy. But this is the other thing. When you actually go back and look, the reason why, another reason why that's important, because look right there where it went to. I mean, it doesn't get more obvious than that, right? Like it went back to something very specific. Look at that right there. Look at that red line, baby. Look at that red line right there. Right there. Look at that. It literally only went to that and then dropped immediately upon touching it. Done deal. Kiss it goodbye. It just blows my mind how accurate those can be. And so it's like you miss, you miss, you miss, and then boom, it hits one of them. And whoever gets the right one, it's like, it's like, it's like gambling. Look, it's like gambling. And you just don't know what line to play it on. And then sooner or later, but we did know what line to play it on. Had we looked at it more thoroughly and saw the one month, you would have been betting against it at 272 and you would have had a 12, 13, $14 reversion into the end of the day. You'd been sitting no bullshit on like three, four hundred percent. And that's where I blew it. But it's fine. I got I ended up actually taking the like forty-one dollars I had left. I was like forty-one dollars and thirteen cents because I still had some pennies from a from a basic trade. And I just went to bet against the spy. Bet against the spy and it turned out fantastic. And I bet against the spy on a four prong, a little four prong uh, strike here, right there. So let's show you what I did really quickly. I, I looked at the chart this time. I thoroughly looked at it and I said, okay, boom, it touched the blue. Now I could have got scared and said, well, Apple went there. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I like this one and this is why. When you look there, you got the, it touched the 10 day EMA, which is that blue line. In addition to that, I pulled up the one month chart. And when I looked at the one month, look what I found. I ended up finding out that this one actually had 
a good reason for being done there. So if you actually take this and spread it right here, look, because remember, you want three of them to touch. And look at that. You got, you got right here, one, two, almost, and now three. So I liked that about it. I really like that about it. In addition, let me just hold on real quick and let me finish that up for you. So we're going to take that right there. We're going to do that line right there. And then I want to show you something. So we're going to take that one back, bring it to right here. You know, bring it up like this. Boom. Right there. Okay. So I like that. Then I brought it under. It's actually touching. If you look, if you look realistically, it's like one, two, there's two right there on the left side, one there. And then now this one. Okay. Now this was the other thing I liked about it. If you actually draw this under, it gives you a bottom aim. It gives you like something of where it's going downward. And look what I found. Look at that. And so I bought the 260s. And that's how I made some money. I, bu I bet it would go down to 260. Well, look, 255 starts there. So 260 allows you to get to about right there. So even if it fell over a day, it could possibly make it there. And so, and remember, because you're doing it two days out. April 9th was the expiration date. And so it made a lot of sense to me to play those. I did, and I got all the way back up to $130, from 41 to 130 So, you know, it, it, it was what it was, you know. It is what it is. Actually, no, that isn't what I did. I didn't play the 260s. I think I played like the 250s or something like that. And they ended up benefiting me because the move from 274 where it was at to two, you know, that lower 260 range was so quick. Meaning it happened within this day that my uh, the uh, puts appreciated in value enough to give me that 126 amount. And it was just devastating because I was like, fuck, I missed the one by a day. Had I just did that right, you'd be sitting from 400 to like, you know, 1200. Then had you did the, this call right about 1200 to like 23. So just because I missed the first one, now I got to restart from 130. And it just pisses me off so bad. But it is what it is. I know you guys, but with stocks, we do thousands of dollars. But I don't do that with my options because I'm too stupid in terms of I do stupid shit. Like if you put $15,000 in my options account, I'm either going to make you 150000 or we're going to be at zero in like three months. It's <laughs> That's the way my shit works. It's going to go unbelievably well. In fact, in some cases... It gets a thousand percent even faster than that. But in some cases, I lose it all in two days. All right, so check this out. The last thing we're going to look at real quick with that spy is why, what else was pointing. And if you look at the spy, I showed you the two. I showed you that. Then I showed you how on the six month chart it touched the blue. And then if you look at the um, five year chart here, no, it wasn't the five year. It was the, I think it was like the three month. It was the three month right here. So just draw a line directly across. And look what you get. And with the three month, you also get something very valuable right here. Look at the three month right there. See that across? Look across there. You got one, two, three, and then one. So that's three candles where that was support. Three candles. And when it broke that support, look at how deep the break was. So what that tells you is whenever a support line like that gets broken and it has that big of a problem in terms of the drop, that means this overall line is very important and very strong for the price action. And so I knew it was going to be tough to get back above it. It was tough to break it. And when it finally did break, it was devastating. And so I knew getting back above it will be hard. But if you get back above it, it could be fantastic. And it would do something like maybe pop into the top Bollinger Band. But it won't be easy. You know, it won't be easy. And then this was the last thing. So now you already see all the things I'm staring at there. You already got three or four strike uh, reasons for that price being hard to get past. And then, of course, look at this. Straight up there. Well, actually, we got to do the arrows so it's absolutely perfect. But if you take this like this, boom, and then draw it up like that right there, about right there, bring that in. You know, it's not going to be absolute because I got to, I'm dealing with it here. And then let's do this one right here. And look what we got forming here. All right, here. Oh, so close. Look at that. Look at that right about there. Boom. Look at that. Look at that stunning picture. Boom, 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 boom. So where's it going to go next? Right down there. And that's why I got out of it. Because look, I was like, for me to get back to the 250, ain't going to happen. That's why I sold out. I'm like, it ain't going to happen. Like, it's not going to happen, but it had a lot of value because it potentially could. Potentially it could. But I was like, no way, I'm not taking the risk. 
And I wasn't going to take the risk out of the fear that that tomorrow, if it doesn't have another massive move, then there's no way by the ninth it's going to get there. Like to me in my eyes, there's no way by the ninth. Today's the seventh. You have tomorrow the eighth, then the ninth that ain't going to happen. So I said, I'm just going to be grateful I got back $130. And I was like 127, I believe I'm at. So I was just grateful for that. But here, so you're about to get in a zone here where this is going to tighten. You're going to see that tighten up like this and this, right? That's going to happen. And then it's going to happen until other breaks down or breaks out and when either way happens you're looking at a potential drop a continuation like here if this goes it could go farther i mean keep in mind new york just had like the most deaths ever in a single day today they they thought it was going to be done and now worst deaths worth worst death toll today of all days i believe i believe let's just go check apple news real quick look guys this is what i do i study all the time this is a crazy study right here this is a spy Look at how crazy I got into it. Now, a lot of you guys would look at that and be like, this is stupid. It makes no sense. There's a lot of information in this chart right here that also helped me, compelled me to bet against it. And you can see the price. Look where it's at, 273.03. I was already planning to bet against it because look where it's at right there with that blue line going across and the black line. And I'm like, boom. And that's what made me go, this is it. There's too many things going against it here. I'm betting against it here. And look on the very long. Look at where the blue line goes. Look at how much stuff you know basically coincides with that line so much stuff that's literally like the middle of of the all the movement and so i just i didn't like it getting past that i didn't think it would ended up being a good bet but i lost majority of my money about 80 percent initially from about 83 percent on on my apple play maybe even 85 percent but it is what it is i'll grow it back and i'll show you guys how, how i do it i'll just keep fucking with it until it works what's this mini yeah, I saw some things today. There's that semi right there. I was showing a friend of mine. As you guys can see, uh, I'm always working on stuff, but I, I don't share everything. See these pictures? Look at that. It's actually take a 3.27 p.m. where I was showing a friend of mine. And I just do it all the time. Look right here. Here's the other, another. Look at that. It's actually at 1.40 p.m. today when it was about to happen. Me, I took that. Look right there. You can see 1.40. And the reason why I did it because I wanted people to see, like, I'm already planning this shit beforehand. I'm telling you about it now, but in my life, it's already being plotted and planned. You can see right there, 1.40 p.m. I saw it happening. I got my alert, went there and showed you, and I circled it just to go, let me take this so I can explain to them. This isn't some facade that I'm building. Look, see, I'm going back and reworking history, like stuff that already happened. Now, hindsight, I'm going to show you how right I was. No, I just told you I lost fucking majority of my money today being done with op Apple, uh, Apple options, but also showed you how that could have been an amazing play had I did my last bit of research that I didn't do because I'm an idiot so there you go so hopefully this stuff is useful i'll tag this for apple i'll tag it for apple semi spy and uh whatever ones whatever ones i talk about i'm gonna end this video and go do another i want to cover acre and a couple other ones that i thought were pretty crazy i love you guys peace